Hello everyone, my name is Andrew. I'd like to go through with you the Chindex data entry system that we will use to transcribe the information on the register of certificates exempting from the dictation tests. I'd like to go through a bit more information about the content of the register, the pages that have been allocated to you, how to log into the system and navigate between the different menu system, and most importantly, and how to use the data entry, entry system itself. The uh, register of certificates of exempt, exempting from the dictation test is basically three books housed in the National Archive of Victoria. There is a total of about 420 pages, 13,000 entries among these three books. They contain information such as name, age, nationality of the person applying for the certificate exemption, occupation and address. There are other information such as departure and return information and anecdotal information that immigration might have recorded at that point. As a project, we have decided to capture the key information that is necessary to do the indexing. And these are name, the age, nationality, occupation and address. And we believe by having this information published in the public domain will help us do searches. The intention is to use this as a search that will look up the actual image of this book so that the researchers and historian can do more analysis on those pages. Let's have a look to see how the system actually works. Before you start, there is a couple of things that you need to know. The Chindex system, including the data entry part of the Chindex system, is here, chineseancestor.org slash Chindex. You will need access to the internet and the computer. Whether it is a desktop or a laptop, it will work fairly well. You need to have a login, and this login will be your email address. And allocated to you to your email address a number of pages that is um, dedicated that is specific for you you can contact us in two ways under chindex help at gmail.com or use the contact us page on the chindex system if you're interested in helping or if other people that you know is interested in helping in this valuable course please drop us a line. It may help if you have a second computer or mobile phone, digital mobile phone or a tablet that will speed up the data entry process. I will go through that with you a bit more in, in, in just a minute. Let's have a look at the Chindex system. This is the entry point of the Chindex system. On the left is Chinese Ancestor slash Chindex. There's a number of menu options here. From, for today, I'm gonna to focus primarily on the data entry, which is over here on the left-hand side. When you click this, this menu, this option, you'll be going to the home page of the data entry form. It's fairly straightforward. Um, here is where you put in your uh, email put in my email address, which is myself allocated, and you hit fine. What you see here is, are the pages that has been allocated to you. Let's just go through them one at a time. <clears throat> There's an image number, which is this number that we use to identify what pages within those three registers we talked about that we're working on. This list of numbers is probably not as relevant for us here, other than it is a unique code for us to the back end to identify which image we're working, working in, working with. Here is information about the image year, 
that appear on the register. Status um, explain to you how far you've gone with this work. All the pages are allocated in three different states or status. Number one is we haven't started something, it is called unclaimed. When you're halfway through working um, on, the, on, the, on the page, it will be called started, number two. When it's completed, it will be number three, completed. And on the right hand side, you will also see um, a percentage explaining to you how far, uh, how far have you gone within the page. Here the assumption is a page contain many lines, up to about 50. Um, you, can, you can data entry as many as you wanted to in a session. You can stop any way at any point in time. What the system does, it gives you a tally on how far you've gone within that page. On the very top is a summary of, uh, of the pages that you've started, pages that you've completed, and the pages you haven't started. In this example, I've been allocated three pages and I've completed one. On the far right hand side is your login details and there's a red button on the far right which allow you to log off. So fairly simply, this is the summary page. You always come back to here uh, when you finish one page and at any one point in time, you can come back and continue the work knowing exactly what you've done and um, and how far you completed with this with this with this work. I'm going to go through and take it to the next step and go inside the page and have a look at what is inside the page.